Good morning, Pisces. How are you? How you doing, Pisces? Pisces, don't forget to please cover up. Okay, wash the hand and keep the kids aware of what's going on. Tell them how serious it is to keep the mask on and please keep your own because you're saving lives every day. You know, especially those people that work in the hospital. I pray for them. I pray for their safety every day. The people that are fighting these fires, I pray for them and their family. I pray for all of us that we can all come in one and get unite and not fight each other. Okay? Um, please vote. It's very important that you vote. You're watching the TV every day with all the nonsense and craziness. Vote. It makes a difference. Okay, I don't care who you vote for. Just vote for somebody. It makes a difference. Please vote. Get out there and vote. Your votes count. Okay? Um, I'm going to send out prayers to all those Pisces who are having surgery today. They text me and tell me, you know, they can get surgery. For all those who don't feel good, I send my prayers out to them. Mark Michael and God to protect them through whatever you're going through, whatever situation you go through. I pray for your protection, okay, for your peace and your mind and your comfort to keep your eyes and your minds focused on your own peace and no one else's, your own goals. Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe. And for those who give me thumbs down, God bless you. Okay. And um, thank you for all those who get private readings. They $65 and their face to face. Also, those who um, get spiritual advice. Um, I do half an hour and I do an hour. Okay. Um. For all those who go on my website and purchase my salt baths, these are things that you need. Um, they also have oils that I get from overseas that are sent to me. Um, thank you for all those who purchase all that. My um, homemade um, stage and many things that I have. Okay. Um, thank you. For those who go on my website and purchase, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have, you can't see the uh, the items because they're, I don't have the right lighting, but there, if you if you hit it, then you'll be able to see it a lot better. But thank you for everything y'all do for me. Thank you a million, okay? Thank you for allowing my channel to grow. And here we go. The first three cards spirit cards and they are all angels God your ancestor whoever's crossing over to you okay Pisces the bottom of the card you got the lover's card um Lately, we've been getting these lovers car and people coming in and out of our lives and all this. But, um, Pisces, 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 y'all got it going on. Fake, take it. The fool, okay? You know, the fool never knows what they're doing. You know, they're young, they think young, they just don't know, undecided. Ooh, undecided. Who is undecided? Who's undecided? Pisces? Y'all undecided like that, Pisces? Y'all doing it like that now? Because somebody, you know, you got the two cups. Somebody's in love. And then, um, you know, you are uh, the fool. The fool. Okay, let's get this popping one more.
Okay. Oh, the pentacles. Okay. So, you got the two of cups, right? The two of cups is somebody uniting. And it, I'm sorry, I didn't show the card. Someone uniting, okay? Um, the two of cups is um, Pisces, yourself, Cancer, or Scorpio, all right? So you got two people here feeling each other. You know, two people who met something to each other. All right. I feel like, um, you know, Pisces, you're coming into all of this loving and all this stuff going on, you know. Um, this car is like a thrill of a, of, a, of being in a partnership and it's in your heart. This is a leap that you're taking and it's bringing you joy with this connection, right? This romance partner, soulmate, friendship, connection at heart, passion, this kind spirit, joyful connection and, corporate, corp, and cooperation is the key, honey. That union sometimes means marriage, okay? Um, just love thinking right. I feel like um got two people here this, you know, <coughs> when you share that joy with those around you, right? You will attract deep love, meaningful ties with other. All right? This car whispers of romance and love and blossom and this attraction of this union and this heart feeling is this someone, you know, Pisces. Um, you're coming into this, and um, I feel like, you know, we're coming into a stage now that a lot of us have made this transformation. And when you make this transformation in a positive side, you get exactly what you want. Why? Because you clean everything about you. You understand? You know what you want. You clean everything about you. And that's when things start making sense. Making sense. All right? Um... This is like, it, 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 you know, this is like a new beginning, a new friendship, a new business partner. While another time it can um, mean um, a profound romance, a union, this profound pair of match in the soul. It's like a soul connection that you have here. Okay. It could be a twin flame. You merge into a path that. You know, it's a forever union, and it's a change, a results of, of 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 you doing your work. That's what makes it so good and so powerful to me. And I'm talking about, you know, if if, if you're single, hello, hello. <laughs> if you're single, right? I'm trying to get the light in here so it won't so look so dark because it's so late. It's real early in the morning here. Um, if you single, right? Um, you know, you know that this is coming around to you, right? But I'll tell you what, whatever's coming around to you, it's gotta come right. If you are single looking for uh, looking for, please don't look for nothing. Let it come to you. Don't look for anything. Because when you look for shit, you're going to find the wrong thing. You don't need to look for anything. Let it come to you. Because when it comes to you, it's because it wants you. You understand? Um, This passion and, and the devotion and this love comes to you naturally. 
when someone wants to be with you. I ain't talking about somebody want to just go to bed with you. I'm talking about somebody that truly wants to be with you. It's a different than just liking somebody and then somebody just looking at you and saying, I got to have her. Oh, I got the best, you know, this, nah. And all they want to do is get you in the bed and then after that you become a number to them. You must understand this. You become a number when you don't value yourself. Get to know a person. Seriously, get to know a person. Do you understand? Um, you got to start right with yourself. And when you start right with yourself, then you get the right person. Are you putting enough effort into a relationship? Are you? I have no clue. Because it ain't shit popping here. Okay, not yet. All right, the holidays are coming. Ain't no need. I ain't no telling what Santa Claus is going to bring me. You never knew. My birthday's coming around too. My anniversary coming around for my YouTube on the fifth, two five. You understand? So ain't no telling what they're going to bring me. But I know I'm in a different state of mind. If you come to me, you got to come right. And that's what I'm talking about, Pisces. I don't care if I knew them and I did what I did. It ain't that type of party. Everything's got to be right. I am, Listen, I'm too busy in my life to try to sit here and baby a grown man. I can't do it. Okay? I can't do it. I don't mind doing it sometimes, but I can't do it all the time. So the person that's coming my way... You know, they need to know that they need to have their own shit popping when they're gonna miles popping off of me too. Okay? And know how to handle yourself. Know how to handle yourself. Don't watch me move around. Move around with me. Okay? Because I got too much to do and I'm a very busy person. I don't have time for no games with nobody. You come right or don't come at all. And that's some real shit. Because I see two people here. And two people here... Um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's something that's coming to you that is going to bring y'all together. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And that's serious because, um, you know what? That is wonderful. You, you want it? Make sure it's right. Don't don't just oh he's cute and um oh everybody because you know what when you get cute and everybody want what they what you got or whatever they got going on people come with a lot of shit so you need to make sure that your that that shit is right okay um Pisces you got the Queen of Cups along. With this. This is you. The Queen of Cups. Pisces. You are a giving person. Okay. I'm a, let me straighten this out with you. Remember one thing about you. You're giving. You're nurturing. You will get the shirt off your back. When you talk. Honey. You forget you telling it all. I'm going to tell you something right now. All three things that I said. Stop doing Stop giving the shirt off your back. Stop talking and listen. Okay? You're not nobody's mother. Okay? It's good to nurture. But you ain't nobody's mama. But your own kids. When you go in a relationship with somebody, right? You go in a relationship as being the queen and they being the king. There ain't no sense, uh, I need to be your mother. You're not the mother. This is somebody that you need to work with in a partnership, okay? The right way. Not catering, not giving, not selling your soul to them. But come right. Because you got a lot to offer. And you got a lot of fish there in that ocean. You know what that means? 
It's a lot of suitors out there coming your way. And I'm telling you right now, a lot of them. Didn't I say that you would go down that ocean, you would meet a lot of things, fish that you ain't never seen in your life? Ever? Let me tell you something right now. Because you're feeding that ocean, that last cup right there, you're doing it. You Not only are you putting that water back in, you're, you're giving birth to a whole lot of good stuff. Career. You're going to be a busy person. And you don't have the time to sit there and baby no grown fucking man or grown woman. Do you understand, Pisces? Because if you got to put in a lot of work just to keep this person in your life, they ain't worth it. They got to come right. I had a major wake-up call. And I'm going to tell you something right now. You can be a whole, you, you can be in relationship for 9, 20 years, 30 years, but it's always that one person that you can be with that you don't understand. And you tell yourself, I done been with a lot, but this one particular one, I can't believe it. How he had me. And I'm going to tell you what right now. Don't ever let that happen again. Do you understand? Ever. Because you're, don't forget who you are. You're dumping that water in there. Do you see them fishes? Honey, you got a lot of money and a lot of different people coming your way. Okay? So I hope and pray to God that you can treat this here and find out who that person is and treat them as a good friend. And take your time getting to know them. Even if it's someone that you did not know, I mean, even if it's someone you had in your past and they coming back, I'm saying in every way, please get to know them this time in a friendship way. And that's the best way to be. Because you got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people coming your way. Do you understand? And I don't know where I'm going to meet all these people coming my way. But I know it's a lot of suitors out there. And I hope I got a lot of captains out there saluting motherfuckers. You understand? Because I'm that queen. I'm that first lady. And I'm going to get treated like that first lady this time. And if you undecided about me, then guess what? I'm not for you. Because whoever comes my way, it's got to know what they want. I don't play second to nobody. Do you understand? And Pisces, don't you play second to no fucking body. Because there's too much out here in this ocean that's going to be coming your way. Do you understand? Coming your way. You ain't never seen in your life. And never had this life in your life. Because you are giving birth to major things. Careers. Doors. And people. And how you see yourself. And how you treat yourself. And how you respect yourself. And how you honor yourself. That's the kind of person that you want. And that's the person you can have. Don't settle for less. Please don't. You, you came this far, right? You came this far. You didn't know you could come this far, but you have. We come this far in many levels. And I tell you, in many levels. There it is. All right. This is the two of cups. All right. Um.
next to that, all of this Pisces, you pick yourself, you got all these people coming at you, your doors is open up for your career, you looking amazing, okay, you feeling good about yourself, you know what you got to do, especially if you watch my channel, you know what you got to do, all right, get out of that head, get out of that space, stop letting all that feed your, your brain and all this negativity thoughts that you got, because now you're taking a leap of faith. Taking a leap of faith at this. Better remember what you had. If it ain't right, you don't want it. Listen. Look into their eyes. See how they move. Go out for walks. Go out for coffee or tea or hot chocolate or anything, drink, whatever it is. Just go out. See how this person is. See how they handle themselves. See how they are with you. Okay? See how they treat you. Sit back. Watch it. You got a lot going on, baby. And I'm talking about a lot. I ain't talking about with people doing things for yourself. You know, you know, and, and let me tell you something. Let, let me let me say what I got to say about this baby. Not only, see, Pisces, you got a lot to offer here. Okay? And when I'm talking about a lot to offer, a lot to give this relationship. Because you got the doors to open up foundations. For someone. Okay. This can be a partner. That maybe they are afraid to take a leap. In their careers. And you saying look you can do this. You can do this. Because there's enough for everybody. And I'm going to keep saying something to y'all. Whoever told you. Or told y'all. Okay. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. That you got to go to college and you got to have a license for this to get massage and do this and do that and all that. The best people, honey, don't have license. And the best people out here do amazing jobs. Okay? Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. All right? Because a business is a business. If you're good at it, do it. you ain't got the money to start a business or go to school for it and you know what you're doing do it do it don't cheat yourself out of anything do it do you understand do it because um Pisces you got the doors to help people out in a lot of ways and I keep telling y'all if y'all got a gift or whoever you see and got a gift and you know they got it, you you know the doors to help them move on, do it. Because you're, you're, that's just a part of who you are. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't overdo anything when it comes to you and your belief and what you want. Check them out. And literally check them out. Just sit there, listen and watch everything they move around and do. Check them out. All right? Don't be too fast and all of this. People don't need to know anything about you. You need to know about them. Because you know, you assure yourself. Why don't you let people show you the way? You understand? Because God says, I go with the way. I go with the way. With the spirits. I go with the flow. I go blind because I know at the end he got me. And that's exactly how I'm looking at a relationship. I go with the flow. I'm going blind to see what you're going to show me. Okay? And what you about. Because I know what I'm about. I don't have to show you anything. I know what I'm about. 
and I know what to bring to the table. But one thing I ain't is your mother. Okay? I'm going to stop being people's mamas because I'm not your mother. Okay? You a grown man. You come into my life because you a grown man. Because you came looking at me because you know what you want. Or don't fuck with a bitch like me. Do you understand? Come right or don't come at all. And that's the way you got to look at it, Pisces. Either they come right or don't come at all. If somebody is in your face undecided, okay, playing these kids game like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this and I don't know if I want to talk. Well, then stay the fuck where you at and play more games over there. And go follow your suitors. Do it. Because I don't have no suitors in my life. But I'm going to tell you what, this car right here say they coming. And when they come, I know where to sit them. If I meet them, because I don't get out there like that. But it's the holidays coming. And that's all I got to say. And I know I'm going to be dancing. I know that for a fact. My birthday's coming. And I will be throwing a party. Okay, I've never had one. And I'm throwing a party at my house. Yes, I am. For my birthday. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, honey. Nice dinner, music and all. Yes. For my birthday, yes. Yes, I am. I don't care how many people I might. Ten people, whatever. But it's going. we're going to have a good time. And I will be dancing uh, that night away on the floor. I'm going to have me a nice party. Okay? Okay, here we go. Got that fool, and that fool is taking a leap of faith. Somebody um, undecided, but you know, probably because a fool is young. A fool don't know if they're coming or going. A fool is making all kinds of decisions, but they 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 don't really know what they want. You know what I mean? They okay, I take a chance on this, and oh, but it's a take a chance. You need to know what you want, okay? Because you got the fool car is somebody. Taking a leap of faith. But this also is someone that's young, think young, probably old, but think got a young mind when they think. And very undecided, like, oh, I'm going to take this leap of faith and see where it takes me. But, you know, oh, in their head, like, I don't know if they're going to, you know, want to talk to me. And, oh, um, you know, um... I, I'm always um, thinking about, there ain't no time to think, either you're going to do it or you're not. All right? Either you want to come as a man or stay with the suitors. Pisces, either they come as a man or a woman or they stay out there suiting what they've been suiting. That's where they need to be. Because when they come to you, they need to come right. Okay? I don't have time for games. All right? And for that, you got the five of wands. The food car is yours, and it's a planet. And you know it's powerful because it's a planet. Okay? But then you got the five of wands. The five of wands. Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay? So, you got a, quite a few people here. You got uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, you got Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, you know, you, you got a lot of things going on here. All right? And it's early in the morning and people are already calling me up. They better be doing what they want to do with these readings. Cause, and I thank you all because my readings are that shit. And anybody can tell you, they better write down how, how I do my readings. Okay, I support others, they support me, and we rise together, okay, in harmony. Okay, check this out. So someone wants to take a leap of faith, right? Don't be stuck up in your head, baby, just do it, all right? Keep being stuck in your head, you're missing out on a lot, all right? Stop being stuck, know what you want to do, and do it. Because when you take the sleep of faith, and this person look like they falling back, 
And they mean they they know they wouldn't end themselves. And the reason why, because look what they got in their hand. This ain't no little kid jumping off and got this little bag and a dog. No, this picture here shows somebody that's been into their spirits and taking a leap of faith. Okay? Don't get in your head. Because when you get in your head, right, it'll stop you from a lot of things. Don't look at this as a little kid. Go in there as an adult. Leave the kid in the trash. Leave the little kid's way in the trash. Whatever you come, you know you got to come right. So whatever wasn't right, it takes two to make it right. Okay, I said two. I said you got suitors, right? Did I say that? Because I see it right here. Right? But I see that it's one particular person that's coming. Alright? But I see that you got a lot of people also that's coming too. But it's this one particular person that's coming to you. But you got more than one here. Alright? Going for you. You went in deep within yourself. This is the food card to take the leap of faith. Or just taking the leap that don't know exactly, but they taking it. When you think crazy, you get crazy. When you think right, you get right. And the reason why I say this, because she got this in her hand. So this person went deep within. And it's cleaning out a lot of things about them. So they kind of sure who they are now. Right? So now things is going to look brighter for them because they're leaving their childish ways behind. And that's what it's all about. All right? And then you got it right here. You know, you got this, this confidence about you, this, this challenge, you know, you're going for it. Being pushed by others to a sin, okay, this brainstorm mentality, you know what I mean, it can be rough in there, I keep telling y'all, don't let nothing come in your energy here, because this right here can shift you quick, all right, it can take you to your old ways real quick, you don't want that, you want to be sure of yourself, okay, and it says it here, this energy are leveling up, and that's what I'm talking about, leveling up, it may be a little rough there, but you, but it's something good is coming here and it's pushing you to become the best of your vision of yourself. And it's moving quickly than it would if you was doing this alone. So, I'm going to say it again. You're taking a leap of faith at this. A leap of faith. All right? Because you believe in your visions. And people are coming. Or a person's coming. Your way. That's going to work with you. Okay. This right here saying. You know. This is. Some some people or somebody is pushing you to that level to help you to say that you can do this. It's like if it, it's something that's, that's pushing you there, all right, to tell you that you can do this. It's time to take a step back, right, and look at you. In that energy. Alright. Look at you in that energy. Because. You can be. And this is like this. You can be with a group of people. Right. And you tell them your business. About. Situations in your life. Family. Friends and all this. And they all sitting there, you know, 
but they got their two cents in because you bought their two cents in. Just taking this leap of faith. I see you got person people coming in here in your life, and maybe you talk too much and you tell them all this and that. But you gotta remember, people only know what you tell them. <clears throat> so sometimes we run our mouth and we start saying all the stuff that you know went on in our lives and all that, and then you know. You know, people start questioning your abilities about what you're going through. And you may be working with people and you may have a group of people, you know, <clears throat> that you tell them you want to do this or you want to do that and all this. And they don't see you doing it, but you got other people that are looking at you and say, go ahead and do it. All right, you can do this. But remember... Your energy, in spite of everything, honey, that's going on here. You got people that, that may want to work with you. People that, you know, that's pushing you. People that's in your business because you got them in your damn business. Okay? People that got so much to say. They got so much to say, honey. They leave the, the pot in the kitchen burning because they being fucking nosy and gossiping. And look at this. Look at this. If you're trying to work, why is this running over and getting ready to burn everything up? Why? Because ain't nobody paying attention to shit. Why? Because you're gossiping too much. You're worrying about everybody else and this and that and everybody got something to say about you. Because you put people in your business. I feel like you're going to take a faith, a leap of faith. And people are going to want to see you and see them. Some people are not. Okay, so it's good to keep your business to yourself. And that's something else I learned. I learned not to let people know about my relationship and whatever goes down, goes down. But it's between me and them on my end. I won't tell nobody shit because somebody always got something to say. And it's the same person you confining in. You got to remember one thing. When you confine in the one person, right, that person's got a wife. That the wife or the husband got a friend and it goes, your business is all over the place because you can find in that one and that one got another friend. You're not that only friend they got. Okay? So then business is all over the place and people looking at y'all like, look at these two clowns. They act like they like each other, but they really don't. Oh, that one slept with this one and this one slept with that one. And they all back. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay? It's, it, this right here is support from others, but you got to remember, when you rise, everything rise. But it's telling you, it's telling you too that, you know, sometimes people question your feelings, all right? They question your abilities, but you got to see your past clearly so that you may need to fly solo. For a bit in order to move up. And I'm going to tell you something. I always fly solo. Okay. I'm a solo bitch. So sometimes these people got to leave other people behind. To take that leap of faith. Because they believe what they believe in. They've been doing a lot of work. Leave a lot of people behind and go solo. To get that clear. What they need to do. Because you're going to have people talking all kinds of shit. All right? You got to remember one thing, Pisces. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This is the happy family. The everything. The job. The, the family. You know. Um, just someone really together. All right? You took that leap of faith, right? Oh, excuse me. You got the King of Cups. Now you got the match. You got the King of Cups and you got the Queen. Um, 
You got the King of Cups, but you got the Ten here. Let's find out the Ten, right? This is a completion of it all. Tens are completion of everything. Completion of everything. Ten means completion. That means either you're together as in Pentacles. Once you walk away from them. It, different cards say different things, but this is a ten. This is a completion of everything you want. I am successful and I share my wealth with those I love. Spiritual and and material abundance, community, gathering, wealth, prosperity, building a legacy, okay? Someone wants to build something with you, baby. Oh, baby, this is the big one. All the love, abundance, and joy that you can man manage and you can just imagine in your heart is coming your way. And it's coming fast. It's time to prepare for the arrival of this connection. This is a long-term success. This energy is so big, in fact, that you should be preparing yourself to spread your generosity. Bring abundance and positivity energy into your life and watch everything shift. Do you understand? I'm going to say it again right here tell you. You're taking a leap of faith. You really know what you want. And what? Sometimes you got to find... You, sometimes when you see shit like this, all this shit popping off and all this, nobody playing no mind to shit, you need to go solo. Solo. Because ain't nobody playing attention to this. And I don't give a damn how much they want to help you, five of wands. On this picture, it seems like everybody's talking and nobody watching that pot. And that pot went, went over and it's fire on the floor. Do you see it? That means get the hell away from there and go solo. Right? It's time to go solo. It's time to leave people behind. They, uh, they, you think they want the best for you or this and that. But they talking all this shit. And every time you talk to somebody about what you want, you best believe they got a other friend. And they just gossiping and doing whatever they want. You need to go solo because you took a leap of faith. You know what you want. Everybody's going to think for you. Oh, don't see this person and don't do that and all this. How about this, baby? I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to do what I want to do. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to live my life. I'm not living it with nobody. Well, all these people on these cars that you don't talk to about whatever you want or whatever you see yourself or whatever it is that's coming in your life. And they study talking shit that the damn pot is boiling over nobody and the damn fire is on the floor. That means get out of this shit. Think for yourself. Okay? Because that car means people want to put you up to be something. Right here, it looks like something is burning up. So look at the car. It's a meaning that it says in the book what it means, but that car says it different. And you got to read what it says in the car. Okay? This says five of wands. Five of wands is people that want to see you progress is pushing you up to your progress but this car right here got everybody talking check this out look at this you got these two people talking these two people talking and there you are you you got the daggone um the the um you got herbs in your hand okay and you got, um, and then this one look like she's pushing her out the way, like, move, okay? And this one here, it seemed like she got so much shit going on that, um, you know, ain't nobody playing no, ain't nobody playing you no fucking mind. And look at this shit, okay? Look at this shit over boiling. Look at the floor. That means go solo. Do things alone. Stop talking to people about your business. Okay, you got the completion. You got everything going on here. All right, everything's going because it's telling you to prepare yourself for something big that's coming your way. Right, bring an abundance and a positive energy into your life and watch everything shift. Expect the arrival of success, happiness. Okay, and an upbeat of love, community, a community, an event, an avenue that's widening up right now for you and everything's clicking into place 
Remember that. The way you see yourself is the way it's going to be. Okay? You are one small move away from seeing the bigger picture. And from seeing this legacy that you're going to bring with your coins that is already yours. You deserve this success and love. You deserve this success and love. That means you deserve what the love is coming your way, the person. Please take your time with this person and your career. So you got it all. All right? To taste, taste the pleasure of life and embody the state of your conscience that says, yes, I am worthy of all this success. And on top of that, you meet someone, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And this is just saying the sign of this. This is going to come to you. And this person do not look like the ship is coming apart. They're falling into the water. This baby is firm. Where they at? They also got a lot of, a lot of people around them. And they probably have a lot of, you know, things they got to get rid of. They probably got a lot of people in their lives. But they coming to you and they've been watching you. They've been watching you. They got the eyes on you. Do you see that? Okay, and they got the cups up. But I'm going to say it again. This person here, I'm going to say it again, got all these fishes around them. Got a lot of Probably women, and if it's a woman, got a lot of women. If it's a man, got a lot of men. Uh, uh, if it's a man, got a lot of women. If it's a woman, got a lot of men. This person got a lot of people around them now. They probably got, they probably a person that everybody like and everybody want look good as hell and everything. But they got a lot of fish around them. A lot of suitors that they've been literally seeing. Okay? And so do you, Pisces. But you probably ain't seeing nobody. And they coming to you because they swimming out the water. But this here, let me tell you something. I'm going to say it again. Check this out. It's a big difference. Would you, they swimming out the water for your attention. All right? Here, they're swimming in the water around him. And guess where you at? Do you see yourself over here? Mermaid, do you see all these swimming behind you? You know, he got these little fishes, but you back here with what? Dolphins. Okay? With the big dogs. You ain't swimming with these fishes. You got dolphins around you, Pisces. You know what that means? That while this person got all these little suitors fishing around them and them doing them, you got some real motherfuckers coming your way. You got dolphins. Do you understand? They're not little fish. They're big fish. Right over there with you. They with you over there. They are dolphins. These things are swimming all over you. Back there. Do you see them? There you go. And look what he got. A lot of little suitors. And that's exactly what it is. But this man knows what he wants. And he said, I'm going to leave these suitors alone because I know I want my Pisces. I'm trying to figure this one out. But I've been watching her. And he's got a lot of love to give you this time. He's sitting in that sand. Do you see that? In the middle of the ocean. In the middle of the ocean. Sitting there firm. Firm. Okay, firm. This person's coming firm to you, baby. He wants something for real. He wants this to be for real. Because why? He was kind of nervous and all up in his head because he wants to take that leap of faith because now he knows he went within. He knows what he wants. His mind was playing tricks on him. You understand? Going in and out, in and out. 
He knows what he wants for real. And he said, you know what? I'm going to step away from all these motherfucking people. They say they want to help me, but look, everything is burning up around them. And I'm getting the fuck out of there before I get burnt with them. Now you fly solo. And when you fly solo, that's when you come. Why? Because you know this Pisces right here ain't the average Pisces. This is the Pisces. They're used to being with suitors, but they ain't nothing but small suitors. They little fish compared to Pisces. Because Pisces, check you out over here. Do you see, you, you know, you, you you there, right? But you ain't fucking up, but we're big dolphins. They all over you. These big motherfuckers are swimming around you. But this this one person that's got their eyes on you. And I'm going to tell you something. Pisces, you got some big motherfucking fish coming at you. Big ones. They not little. They big. These motherfuckers know what they want. You know why? Because you got a change of life. And you saying, I'm not going to settle for nothing but the fucking best. Because I know who I am now. You understand? And see, this person had to go within themselves. They kept questioning themselves. They kept saying, is this right? What are people going to think about me? What is this? What is that? Very childish. Thinking childish. Okay? But now they know they got to move away from these folks. They got to move away from family, friends, and all that shit. And I ain't going to say family, but a lot of friends that they've been talking about you and the problems and whatever y'all had going on at one time or whatever, that doesn't feel good. And they said, I need to move on because I need to come to my Pisces because I want it all with them. All of it. I want everything with them. They came firm this time, damn it. Firm. Whoever's coming into your life is a person that had a lot of women and was doing a lot of things out there and enjoying life. Yes. They got a lot of suitors here, baby. You see them swimming around? But look at you back here. Look. I wish I could. Do you see that fish back there? That mermaid? And guess what that bitch got? She got fucking whales. Um... Dolphins coming her way. She ain't got no little fish. She got dolphins. Big motherfuckers. What? Because she know now what she want. So when you know what you want, you attract that. You don't attract little fish. You attract big fish. And you know what, Pisces? Your shit ain't swimming in no water. Your shit is jumping out the water. Don't it show it here? And it shows it here. These motherfuckers are thirsty for you. You got one person in particular that's about to make a change. It's coming your way. And it's going to leave everything coming to you with a, let me tell you, with a clear mind, clear conversation, and knowing what he wants this time. And I'm going to tell you, we all got past. Everybody got a past in their life. Everybody. Ain't nobody got uh, they could say they passed was every good thing in the world. We all make mistakes. We all have passes. And that's the part about when you get with a person. Everybody got a pass. I don't give a fuck if the pass was with you or was with somebody totally different. We all got passes. But now it's going to be different. And since I've done that, okay, um, I have decided now that I got a little bit more time to hit that before that mark to do this. All right? Because I like the way the spirits are talking to me. They are Pisces. You're coming into someone. Um, This unit, this unit of two people. You got, you know, you got a lot of people coming your way because you, you're not playing no more. You're saying, look, I, I'm, I'm not sitting here thinking about shit, I got to make this money, you went there, you're getting abundance, you got a lot of people coming your way, a lot of suitors, okay, and this person's taking a leap of faith because this person was all in their head, don't know what they want because they feeding out of people's energy that they telling them their business, and you think they want to help you, they supposed to help you because they're your friends, but at the same time, they watching everything burn up, and the floor is burning up, and you said, fuck this shit, I'm going to leave them right here. Talking to themselves, and, <coughs> and guess what? <coughs> I'm moving on. 
And when you move on, you move along to your own space. That's when you come and you say, yeah, I'm looking for my Pisces. All right? And that's when you know they got a lot of people going on in their life. Yet best to believe this person got a lot of women. A lot of women. Okay? Fishing for that fish, baby. But look at you back there. You chilling and you ain't got nothing but dolphins. You ain't got no little suitors. You got dolphins, big dogs. Do you know what that is? People that are like you about about it. But it's this person that's keep watching you. And is trying to think how they're going to get to you. And how they're going to say it or whatever. I don't know. But I don't know how much trying to do is if you ain't doing it. Okay? Because if they can't get to you, they're going to miss out on an opportunity. All right? Best to believe that. Because life moves on. It don't wait for nobody. Okay? The great ending. This is an ending of everything that was great in your life. Okay? Everything is an ending. Now it's a new beginning. Right? Because why? Because you said, I am always enough. The lighthouse doesn't doubt your wealth. Don't ever doubt your wealth. You got that, that light. You got the herbs. You got the light. You got the, the books. You studying all about. You got plants. Um, you got um shells. You got everything. Everything you need. You went into yourself, and you said, "I'm enough." I may not be enough for them, but I'm enough for me, and that's all that matters. Cause you came out of this cloud. Okay, you came out of this cloud. And listen to me, raindrops. Take a chance on them. Did you hear me? Raindrops, take a chance on them. Hello? You got the food? Listen to me. You went through this dark period in your life. You came out of it. It says, take a chance on them. All right? There's food and you're moving away from people. And it says, morning, the world awaits you. Take a chance on them because the morning awaits you. Look at you, Pisces. Look at all that inside over there. You see all that? They looking for you, baby. They want you and you chilling. Them suitors are out there like sharks, baby. Okay? Very peaceful. Very peaceful. Okay? Confident. It comes with time and practice. That sun is shining. That sun is shining. Okay? You got the sword. This is Aquarius coming your way. And let me tell you something. They ought to be confident. But it's coming with time and practice. That means maybe this person is still going through something in their head and don't know how to reach out or whatever because... They trying to figure out how they going to do this or how or whatever. But let me tell you something. Be confident because I love somebody that's confident. And I love somebody that's um, in time. Take all the time and do what you need to do. Okay? I don't know. But I'll tell you what. Life is beautiful. And that's all the hell I know. It says storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. Did you hear what I said? You're sitting there trying to feel how you're going to come to Pisces and all that. It's a sword because it's got the sword right there. You and your deep thoughts. Your mind is playing games with you. You got too much in your head. Don't know how to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. Going in and out, in and out of your thoughts about a Pisces. Come on now. It says storms. Every hurricane comes to an end. You may think it's, it was rough and you know... That you probably went through a lot, but you know that it came to an end and everything is shining. And you holding up your crown like you are the first lady because you are. Like you're everything because you are everything. Do you understand? You everything. And don't let no one ever tell you not. Because whoever comes to you got to be confident. They got to know what they want. You ain't going to be settled for nothing, nothing less. You want somebody to know what they want is about it. Okay? 
joy and delight. This, this is going to be beautiful. I see picnics. I see picnics. I see wines. I see food. I see victory. Okay? You're doing cartwheels. You're happy. You got a dog. Shit, the cats is, 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 is you know, <clears throat> happy. But the dog, look at the dog's face. The dog is saying, I'm loyal to you. Loyal. Trust. I'm going to be there and I'm not going away. I'm going to be there for you. Okay? Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Follow them. You got everything going on. You got the magic. You got the the um, <clears throat> the, the broom. You got the candles going. You got everything going on here. Okay? It says prosperity and abundance. Look at you. Got that wine. You chilling. You done, done all the work. You, you did chilling now, honey. Do you understand? You like, yeah, I got this. Um, You know, it got cake and wine. And, you know, I mean, I gained some weight. And I'm trying to get this shit out of here. Yeah, honey. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put some together. I'm, I'm, something's got to come together, honey. I want to do things. Um, the deep knowing. The deep knowing. The deep knowing. Do you hear me? The deep knowing. You know deep in your heart. You know what you know. Something is coming your way. And you know, and they also know. All right? Look at you leaping. Leaping. Okay? But this person keeps thinking. They are in their head, and all they do is think, think, think. The more you think, the more you're going to get confused. The more you think, the more you be stuck. The more you think, the more you can't move. Let it be. Let it go. It's a star, baby. This is a star. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stop being in your feelings. Stop being in your thoughts. Make a move. What's up? Are you really happy where you at? What's going on? Keep asking yourself, why, why, why? Stop asking yourself, why? And just do it. Open the book up and read it and go. Let's go. What, what is the why? Why are you so deep in your thoughts and everything is why? Or what if? A lot of question there, right? You question yourself about everything because you are in here. You need to let go of that because when you're in there, that's that energy that holds you back from moving on. Do you, do you need that? Do you need to be hold back from moving on? Do you? I'm not going to let nobody stop me from moving on. Nobody. I'm in the energy right now that I feel good. And I thank God each and every day for, for this feeling that I got. Yes, I do. And it says, honeymoon. Enjoy the blossom of the holiday time together. What did I say? I said the holidays is coming. Do you see this angel? This angel is 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 literally pushing this boat. And this is all two energies coming together, two spirits coming together. This is someone that's really went within. And I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. I know you did the work. I know you did because I read your comments. But this person is coming your way. Did a lot of major work also on themselves. Okay? And look at me. You're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honest discussion. Feeling with each other. And, but look. Look at me. Do you see this person here? You may be talking to them. Are they listening to you? That's why I said do you see him? That's supposed to be you. Keep your fucking mouth shut. 
and listen to what they got to say. Do you understand? You're going to listen to what they got to say. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if they don't come right to you, then guess what? Let them move on with the little fishes they got. Because you got whales and big old uh, uh, dolphins coming for you. Oh, yes, you do. But do I got to show you that car again? For they little suitors, you got big motherfucking suitors coming your way. You know why? Because your energy is different. And if they start thinking like you start, they'll start clearing out their mind and coming right. Because ain't nobody got time for no bullshit. Okay? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth and spirit to have fun when you shine. Okay? Listen to me. Y'all two are going to come together and y'all going to love each other. And at first, the conversation may not be going right because, you know, they still in their feelings or whatever. But they're going to come around. Y'all going to have a good time. Because this time, it's going to be real. It's going to be like, you know, going out and being real friends. And, and who knows? But I see more. I see that, you know, y'all coming around and being good friends and getting to know each other again or whatever it is. From the past or from the future, I don't know. But whatever level you see yourself, that's the way it's going to be. Okay? Because when you start thinking positive about yourself, you got positive out. Okay? You got things that's happening your way that's going to come right. <clears throat> it says, I miss you regardless of how things seem. They missing you. All right? I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. So... They're coming with a lot of sense because they're going to leave things behind that, you know, that don't serve them or whatever. People or whatever, whoever's in their ear, I don't know. Or or they're in their own damn head. Because I don't need nobody in my ear. I could be stuck in my own head and do damage to my damn self. Because that's the way it be. You know, you get damaged when you get in your own head and you get stuck there. Because you already got whatever you put in your own head about it. Okay. It is possible to forgive and forget. It damn sure is. It damn sure is. And this got a question mark. And you got that question in your damn book right here. So they need to stop questioning shit. And that like they know. Because if they can't forget what happened or forgive. Then you're going to be stuck right there. And I am not going to be stuck. And know whatever happened that didn't happen and all that. It's a done deal with me. I'm done with it. I've, I've forgiven, forgotten and moved on. And I, I literally live by my spirits. And I know God don't want me to be stuck, but the devil do. Okay, the devil always got a plan. But God got a bigger plan. The devil always have his plan, and God got a bigger plan. To execute the devil's plan, okay? Execute it. Healing. Self-care time out. Be gentle with yourself and your twin. So, okay? Healing. They are healing just like you and believing in me. When they come my way, they're going to learn a lot about healing because I'm a teacher. And by the time I get done teaching them, we're going to be superstars. All right? Yes, superstars. Offer. Okay? Engagement. Wedding. Okay? Rejoicing in this union. Do you? Look at this. Somebody is coming full force to you. Full force. Can I say, you, you, you don't have little fish. You got fucking dolphins, not little tweet tweet dolphins, okay? A karma partner, okay? A relation, duty, bond, by social, honey. You are going to be into each other. And you know what's weird? This is the weird part. Look at me. Did you start it off with that and you ended off with that? Is that beautiful? There it is. The beginning of your reading and the end. Two people. Two people. Together. All right? Pisces. This is your reading. Be gentle to yourself. Be kind. Okay? Respect yourself. Respect others. Because when you respect yourself, respect comes your way. When you're kind to yourself, kindness comes to your way. Okay? 
Look at yourself like the bomb that you are, because you are the bomb. And you got a pair here. You got the king and the queen, okay? The king, the queen. Look at me. You got the queen and the king. Look at me. She got all these suitors. She, she's letting that water go in because she said, I got enough water. I'm going to dump this in. And when she dumped that shit in there and said, I dumped everything in there, look what came. The fishes are jumping out of that bitch with your success, with your relationship, with everything. But you got to remember one thing. You got a lot of people coming your way. And I hope you can handle it and handle what you want. Don't be all, oh, he look good and he got this and ain't, ain't worth shit. All right? Did you hear what I said? Don't get your eyes fucked up. Because whenever you get your eyes fucked up, that's why you want them to predict them and you win. Because you don't even know a motherfucker and you want to jump in the bed and then act like you know him after they fucking leave your dumb ass. All right? Be smart. You got a lot going on. A lot going on. All right? Act like you do. Then you got this right here, baby. This king, this person wants it all. Family, love, I mean romantic. It's going to show you the way to love, honey. Love. Because cups... They are into love, honey. This person also can be um stubborn, okay? Um, like to have certain things his way. But you gotta remember it takes two to make it work, right? Gotta bend a little bit and get straight a little bit, right? You can work that out, right? But this person got a lot of women. When I mean a lot of women, a lot of women. A lot. Right? He's very very powerful, very stand still. Um, he got a lot, a lot of shit going on, though. Okay, on that end. But guess what? Is he looking at these fish that he got on the bottom? Cause guess what? That cat done caught that fish. So out of all the fish that's down there, he got that one. He got his eyes on, and he can't take his eyes off of her. I see that's you. He's thinking about you. And guess what? He's checking you out. He's watching you. Best to believe that. And he got that cup high himself. He said, I salute it. And look at you. You back here looking at him from a distance. And guess what? You got all these big fish coming at you. They're coming. They're swimming all over you. All right? So I'm going to tell you again, you got two connections here, the king and the queen. Do you understand? You came out first, and at the end, he came out. Check this out. This was the first card that popped up, the lovers, right? And then at the end, it was the lovers again. So this is serious. I wish you all the best, Pisces. Handle your business and handle it right. Handle your finance, handle your career, and handle your relationship. And don't talk to too many people because when you talk about it, people always got other people they connect to and your business is all over the damn place. Keep your business to yourself. All right? You want to talk to somebody? Talk to God. All right? Talk to Art Michael. They're going to straighten it all out for you. I'll talk to you later. Have a blessed day. And, and guess what, Pisces? If you want to know more about this reading and know who it really is in your life, get a private reading. If it ain't from me, get it from somebody else because somebody is definitely watching you. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.